And new at 10, Bailey Marquette entered a not guilty plea and waived his arraignment. He's the former Decatur police officer accused of murdering Steve Perkins. Marquette's lawyer says he denies any wrongdoing. He says he was acting in self-defense. Supporters with the Justice for Steve Perkins movement were supposed to be protesting in Decatur tonight. That's where Way 31's Maddie McCaffrey joins us live now. Maddie, there wasn't much of a show out tonight, was it? No, there wasn't, Nikel and Rob. There was just a few people outside of City Hall protesting. However, I'm told one of them decided to go protest outside of Mayor Tab Bowling's house, where she was then arrested by police. This is video you'll only see on Way 31 News. Video from Decatur resident Elena Daly's live stream. She was recording herself outside Mayor Tab Bowling's home. Several other protesters tell me Decatur police arrested her for disorderly conduct. They tell me she was loud and had tumultuous behavior. Several protesters are also upset. This after Bailey Marquette entered his not guilty plea and waived his arraignment. It was to be expected. I didn't think he would admit to what he did, which was murder Steve Perkins. I feel like he knows that he's either going to get a slap on the wrist or nothing. I feel like we've got such a corrupt system here in Decatur that they've probably already talked to him, told him, hey, this is how it's going to be. We've just got to shut the public up, but we're not going to be silenced. He's got to pay. Steve Perkins's brother, Nick, will speak at a breakfast Saturday. He will discuss the new body cam legislation that State Senator Marika Coleman is introducing. It's introducing a new body cam footage bill, bill and um, uh, that's actually what I'll be there for tomorrow to, to show support um, for this bill uh, and what it means and what it stands for um, and how it will help families in the future when it comes to viewing body cam footage in situations like Steve's. Their hope for the new body camera legislation is for families to be able to view footage within 30 days of an incident happening. They also want body cam footage to be public record. Nick Perkins says it's been a tough time for their family and they want justice. Everybody's taking it uh, one day at a time, sometimes one breath at a time, just because the memories of Steve are, are still fresh they are, and that we'll always have them. But Steve was a good guy. You know, he didn't deserve to be taken away in the manner that he was taken. And Nick also says he got to see the body cam footage of the night when his brother was killed. As for the protester who was arrested, folks are here at the Morgan County Jail right now trying to bail her out. We'll keep you updated as all of this unfolds. I'm live in Decatur with coverage you can count on. Maddie McCaffrey, Way 31 News.